Would you believe me if I told you that the greatest fighters on the planet all use classical stances from karate and kung fu to defeat their opponents, often without even knowing it? Most people can't see this because they don't understand the original intent and purpose of classical stances. And it's all based on a silly misunderstanding. Check it out. Anyone who's ever seen a classic kung fu movie will recognize the scene where the monks are standing in a classic horse stance, or ma bu as it's called in Chinese, for hours and hours until their legs are burning. But what most people don't know is that ma bu actually doesn't translate to horse stance. It really means horse step. And the same applies to all stances. And that is the secret of making your stances work in a real fight. See, if you take a video of a full contact fight and then press pause at random moments, you will always see a person going into or out of the classical stances you find in the Eastern martial arts. Because they're not meant to be static, they're dynamic. And the reason requires you to understand the human body. You see, every action of generating power starts with an eccentric motion. That's when you slow down the movement to absorb the force. After that comes an isometric contraction. That's the static hold, the snapshot that you see in the different stances. And this moment is crucial to be able to generate power to the third and last stage of energy transfer known as the concentric part. These three moments are present in every action you do when you practice martial arts. And the key is that isometric energy transfer in the middle. That's what a stance is for. Because if you don't have the neuromuscular capacity to hold a strong isometric contraction during a moment of energy transfer, then that's like driving your car, if you have a manual car, and then trying to shift gears without pressing down the clutch. Stances are like that clutch, that third pedal that you gotta use when you wanna switch between acceleration and deceleration. And the better and stronger you're able to hold that stance and transfer that power through the kinetic chain, the more power output you're able to produce. This is why all the traditional martial arts spend so much time focusing on stances from the very first day you start practicing. Stances are fundamental for a reason because you can't shoot a cannon from a canoe. In fact, studies show that your power generation for punching directly correlates to the strength of your lower body, not your upper body. Yet despite this knowledge being present for so long in the traditional martial arts, a lot of modern fighters don't seem to know this. And the reason is most likely because people started exaggerating the classical stances in order to perform them and look flashy and cool in front of judges when the old traditional martial arts were sportified. So it makes sense that you don't think that would work in an actual fight because you don't see them being used in the fight. And this goes for all the classical stances or as they should be called, steps. Let's just take the cat stance or cat step, which implies an action, right? You want to move your weight, you want to transfer your center of gravity back to your rear leg so that you can then generate power and lunge forward into, I don't know, let's say a front stance or a front step. But all of this happens in an instant. So the human eye can't really recognize it unless it knows what to look for. That's why snapshots from real fights always reveal a plethora of classic stances being used in real fights. And that's why stances are not impractical, just invisible, until you learn how to see. Because it's all about understanding biomechanics. That's why stances are essential, especially if you want to become a great fighter. And if you want to learn more about how classical karate and martial arts can be used for modern fighting, then check out some of my other videos. I am sure you're going to enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. Train hard, good luck, and have fun.